All right, YouTube, my name is Kevin Williams, manager of All Skill Construction, and today we are doing a better looking version of a storm door. So I guess this could be storm door part two, and then we're gonna do an entry door. We're gonna show you how to take out and put in an entry door. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, the like button, notification bell. Uh, so far, the channel is growing pretty good. So thank you guys for supporting. So share the video and then tell your family and friends i'm it's 34 videos on there so i'm pretty sure you can find a video you like we even got some funny videos on there so share them and then that way your family and your friends can subscribe so let me turn it around and show you what we doing so we got a pretty looking front entrance so we're going to put a mostly glass storm door right here it's mostly glass but the measurement was in there was too small so we just had to take this piece off right here and we're gonna move it over just move that piece over to there so the storm door can get in there so this one will be basically pretty much similar to the other storm door just of cost a little bit more money you still got all your tracks. This is the top track right there. Side tracks. Bottom sweep. All your screws. Your piece to your lock set. There go your piece to your closer. Closer right here. They got two this time, so you just gets one closer at the top one closer at the bottom because this storm door is much heavier than the ones we put on last time then you got your pieces to conceal your screws so it's basically the same thing as last time but uh what held us up this time was they gave her a storm door but they didn't give her the lock set so she had to go back and order it so now we can put it up so it's going to be just basically the same as we did those other storm doors just look better all right, I'll be back. Got the door up. See, all you have to do is just screw in those screws on there. The side track is already connected to the door. Now we're putting the handle on. See how it's a little bit more better looking than the one in the back. This is the storm door probably cost three, four hundred dollars. little allen wrench i got to to tighten the knob on there to give you an allen wrench it comes with the set just make sure you keep it that way if the door not ever become loose in the future put that allen wrench in your junk drawer That mechanism right there seems to be stuck. So now guess what you gotta do? Take it all you, the way back you, you, you loosen the screws up and see if it'll move. If it don't, you gotta take it all the way back a loop yeah. and see why it won't move. And guess what? This comes with the territory. We'll be back, let you know what was the problem. All right, YouTube, you got that problem solved. What it was, was you just had to open it up with the key first. See, now it's moving. No, it's not moving. Okay, it ain't, ain't assembled all the way. Assemble it all the way so they can see it moving.
sometimes locks will have you outside all day, YouTube. I don't care what kind of lock you put on, how many locks you done put on. It'll have you out there all day messing around with a lock, making you look like you're unprofessional. Guess what you got to do? Figure it out. Figure out what the problem is. You can't knock on the door and say, excuse me, uh, I can't figure this lock out. So you have to get somebody else to do it. What you think the customer will think about you did? Leave it in the comment section, YouTube. If I came and said I couldn't put your lock on, it ain't working right, what would you tell me? Put that in the comment section. What would you say to me? Would you call me names? Would you say I hire an idiot? What would you say, YouTube? Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be right back. All right, YouTube. The handle was hitting this part right here. The handle was hitting that part so we had to put some trim out here to bring it out this is called casing and that bought it out so we good now we got the lock working just when you get ready to put that lock mechanism on when you get to the more expensive doors the little uh slide in there has got to be it's two holes in there that you got to put the slide in the right hole and that'll make the uh, lock turn. But now he putting on the closers. This one got a closer at the bottom and the closer at the top. Cause this is a more heavier door. And one thing you don't want is the wind grabbing these things. Cause if the wind grab them, it'll rip everything out of there. I seen that a lot. It'll rip everything out the door and it'll rip everything out the, out the wood so what they did was they put these are a little heavier so they put closers at the top and closers at the bottom that way when you open it as soon as you open it it'll start closing when you get out the way that way the wind can't grab it and yank it all the way over there and tear everything out of there now i should have a lot of storm doors come with wind chains that you could put at the top but this one didn't come with a wind chain so but if you ever put up a storm door make sure you use those wind chains because those wind chains Oh, keep the wind from snatching it out your hand and ripping everything out. So we almost done with this one. And then we're going to go around to the back and then I'll show you how to put in a take out and put in a whole entry door. I'll be back. All right. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and the share button. Let's get the channel growing. Remember, I'm not a handyman. I'm all skill.